What's up guys, back again with another video. So last episode and the episodes before that we learned um, about classes and how to make classes and methods and stuff like that. And so this episode we're going to be teaching you about overloaded methods, which are methods but overloaded. So <laughs> yeah, um, it's pretty simple, but let's just go over it. I made a little presentation, like really short pre presentation on it just to help us understand with what overloaded methods are. So let's go to the next slide. So what are overloaded methods? They're just multiple methods with the same name. Literally just that. We have multiple methods in our class with the same name. Pretty simple, right? Okay. And so how are they made? Um, there's two ways to make an overloaded method. You could either have a different um, amount of parameters or you can just give uh, change the per one of the data types of the parameters and that'll make it overloaded or different. It's just hard to explain, but that's how you do it. Give them different data types or different amounts. And we'll be going over how to do that exactly. So why overload methods? It makes things way easier. So we don't have to make a new method with a new name every time we want to do something or change something, just tweak something. It's just way easier when we just overload it. And you'll see why. Okay, so now we made it. I made a um, new project inside of the IntelliJ idea. And we're going to start doing overloaded methods. So we're going to do it inside of a new class. So we're going to make a class here called uh, class um, booger. Okay. And then inside booger, we're going to have um, some methods and some data. So let's try this int a. Actually, no, no, no. So we're going to have a method here. So just um, void. Um, or no, actually it's gonna it's gonna return a value. So int sum, find sum, and then there we go. Now it needs to return sum. All right. So we're gonna have some parameters here. So a and then b and then int a. <clears throat> oh no, int sum equals a plus b. So whatever they enter up here will be this. And what's wrong here? Oh, right. yeah, we need to provide data types for these, of course. And now these will correlate. These are parameters, and they correlate. And then so we can return the sum. It's just adding these two parameters that we put in. So it's a pretty simple little thingy. And then, um, yep, so there we go. Um, let's see. So the first way we can overload methods is by changing the, the, the number of arguments. But before we do that, let's first uh, test this out. So booger. Um, one equals new booger and then one dot find some um, one two so that should return three of course so let's go ahead and um, print this out this out what the hell so annoying there we go and put that in here we don't need this one anymore okie dokie so yeah, we'll go ahead and run that, and we should get three, of course. Right, so we get three. So we know that we made a method correctly. So let's go ahead and make another method. So int um, find sum of three, int a, int b, int c, and then int sum equals a plus b plus C, and then it's going to return the sum of those. So let's see, we made another method which is doing the exact same thing, except the only difference is it has a different amount of parameters. And so that can get really repetitive because you might want to have a different amount of parameters for many different methods. So an easy way to fix this or make it less confusing is just by over overloading this one by giving it the same name. So this is perfectly valid because these 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 are actually different. Basically, they have the same name, but they're different because we have a different amount of uh, parameters, right? So that's one of the conditions that we need to overload a method. We need to either have a different data type or a different amount of parameters, and that's exactly what we're doing. And if you look closely, this one is called because it's highlighted, and this one is grayed out because it's not called. So the end knows that these are different, right? So let's go ahead and call this again. So let's copy this whole line here. And let's do, so it's still, this one's not highlighted, so let's add another parameter, four. So then it recognizes that using the third parameter, oops, what the hell, 
and then so now this one's highlighted so these are the same thing and these are the same thing so let's go ahead and run that <clears throat> pretty cool so now we, we know that works pretty well so um yeah so this is just a way to make your life easier basically um so even we can also provide like basically a default basically um let's see if we have a constructor here for booger um public or no i can do public we haven't learned that yet so just um booger all right and then um let's try actually no we're not going to do constructor although keep in mind you can make um overloader methods inside constructor so you can have multiple constructors just overload the first one that you made so that's just something i mean methods are constructors i mean constructors are methods so you can do whatever you want as long as it's a overloaded method hard to explain but yeah so let's, we're gonna we're gonna make a default for this one so int find sum and it's missing return statement so um we're gonna have a void and then return um let's see that's just gonna output something output you did not give oh my gosh any values so what this is doing um, if we don't provide any parameters it's just going to print this out basically and I should have just um, returned a string but anyway we'll just do it like this so one dot find sum and then I don't provide any right then I run it and then it works the same way because um, we're not it knows that the difference between these also Yep, that's how you overload parameters by changing the number of arguments or parameters, same thing. And so the next way we can do it is by changing the data type of the arguments. So let's go ahead and create another one of these, the one with two of them. So we'll just copy and paste. And look, we get an error because these have the same, they're the exact same, they're copies of each other. So if we want to overload this one, all we got to do is change this to something else. So string A, and that makes it completely different. Of course, we get an error here because, you know, we're adding a string and an integer. But anyway... The point is that this method is valid because the the data types for the parameters are different. So now it's overloaded. So that's how you do that. And actually, um, so that's pretty much it for that overloading methods. But keep in mind, you can actually even overload the main method right here. This is a method, if you don't know the main method. You can do that because um, methods are methods. You can overload any method pretty much. But anyway, um, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, leave a like. If you want to ask any questions in the comments, if you need help or anything, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And peace.